Shalom, Yeladim. I'm very excited. We have a special holiday coming up, the holiday of Hanukkah. It's one of the most beautiful, beautiful times of the year. Outside it gets cold, but inside there's light, there's heat, that beautiful, beautiful holiday. I love it. I can't wait for it every single year. So many exciting things. So let's get on it. You ready? Let's go. So, a long time ago, there was a country named Greece, right here. And they were trying to take over everywhere they went. They were trying to change the whole world to be like them. And they went from all the way Greece, all the way to Eretz Israel, to Yerushalayim. And Antiochus, their wicked king, came in and he told everyone, no more Rosh Chodesh. He didn't want us to know when the holidays were. And he said, no more keeping Shabbat. You have to pray like us. You have to do what we do. No Shabbat. No Brit Milah. When the baby is eight days old. No Brit Milah. And he said, there's no praying to Hashem. And he said, there's no learning Torah. But we never kept that part. You know why we never kept that part? Because we continued learning Torah. The Jewish children learned Torah. And whenever the soldiers came into the classroom and said, are you learning Torah? The kids would take out their Sevivon and they would spin their Sevivon. No, soldiers, we're not learning Torah. We're playing with the Sevivon. Then Antiochus and his soldiers came to the Beit HaMikdash and they messed the entire place up. It was dirty. It was disgusting. And he wanted to attack the Jewish people. He got his big army and he said, let's attack the Jewish people. Now there was a small group, small group. Matitya, who was the Kohen Gadol, and his son, Yehuda Maccabi, and his children, a small, tiny group, they said, hey, we're not going to let this happen anymore. You can't stop Rosh Chodesh and Fila and Brit Mila and Shabbat and Torah. We're not stopping anymore. We're not going to be like you. We're going to stay Jewish. We're going to stay following Hashem's rules. And together, they fought off the Greek soldiers, they pushed Antiochus out of the country and they won the war. A small group made all the Greek soldiers with all their elephants and their horses run away. Then they came back to the Beit HaMikdash and they saw it was one big mess, but they didn't leave it like that. They looked around and they started to clean up. Everyone pitched in. Everyone found something. They're putting everything together. And finally, after looking and looking and looking, someone found a little tiny jug with the oil of a Kohen Gadol stamp on it. And we could light the menorah. The menorah of the Beit HaMikdash with seven beautiful candles. We might have a chance. They looked at it. It was very, very small. But we said, you know what? We just won a war. It was Kaf He Kislev. And you know what? Let's do it. Even if it's not, it might not even last tonight. Even if it won't last, we'll still do it. They put oil in the seven cups in the, in the, on the menorah. And the Kohen Gadol lit the menorah. But here's the thing, they came in the morning and they saw it was lit. And they just left it. And it left another day, and another day, and another day, and a fifth day, and a sixth day, and a seventh day. For eight days, the menorah stayed lit until they were able to get new oil. And it was a miracle how a little jug of oil that didn't even have enough oil to last one day, lasted for eight days. 
It was an amazing, amazing miracle. There was two miracles. How a small army was able to send Antiochus' huge army. They send them back to Greece. And that little bit of oil we tried, even though it wasn't going to last, but we tried. Hashem said, I'm going to help you. Now, this is a menorah in the Beta Migdash. It had seven candles. We wait till it's dark, till the stars come out, and it's time to light the Hanukkiah. We're supposed to light the Hanukkiah across from the mezuzah. This way, when you walk into a house, you're surrounded by mitzvot. A lot of people put it outside so everyone can walk by and see the, and the candles and remember the miracles. And if there's a lot of houses in a yard, they'll put their Hanukkiahs outside so everyone can see. And if it's a big building, there'll be a lot of Hanukkiahs outside. If we can't put it outside, then we put it by the window so everyone walking by could see and remember the miracle. So on the first night, we're going to light one candle all the way to the right side. We're going to light one on the side. We're going to light one on the side. And we're going to light that little, that middle candle is called a shamash. It's there to help us light the candles. And remember, we cannot use, we cannot touch the candles. So we need another candle to, to give us light. And we're going to say three berachot. The first one, the first night, we're going to say lehadlik ner hanukkah. Then we're going to say she'asa nisim la'avotenu. Hashem made miracles. And number three, the first time you do a mitzvah in a whole year, you say she'he ha'yanu. She'he ha'yanu ve'kiyemanu ve'giyanu la'zeman hazeh. And of course, on the second night, the third night, the fourth night, every night we add another candle. We always start from the new candle and we go backwards. So on the second night, two, then one. Then on the third night, three, two, one. On night number four, we start with the new candle. Four, three, two, one. On the fifth night, five, four, three, two, one. On the sixth night, six, five, four, three, two, one. On the seventh night, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On the eighth night, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But only on the first night, we say three berachot. Every other night, we only say two berachot. Hadlik ner Hanukkah and she'asani sim la'avoten. Remember, we're not allowed to touch those fires. We never touch candles. We stay away from the candles. We want to make sure nothing happens to us. Remember, fire is dangerous. We look at the candles, but we can't touch nothing. Friday night. We have to light Shabbat candles and Hanukkah candles. We're going to light the Shabbat ca the candles after the Hanukkah candles. First, we light the Hanukkah. And then when we finish lighting the Hanukkah, mommy is going to light the Shabbat candles. Motze Shabbat, after Shabbat, well, if we're in Shul, if we're in Bet Knesset, first the Hazan is going to say the Beracha on the can of the Hanukkah, and then he's going to say Abdallah. We want everyone still left in Shul so they can see the Hanukkah candles get lit, so they can remember the miracles. And then only afterwards, Abdallah. But then when you come back home, it's the opposite. We're going to first say Havdalah, and then we're going to light the Hanukkah candles. Now, there's few important things that we have to follow when we when we light the Hanukkah candles. First things first, not a lot of children know this, but when the Hanukkah candles are lit, mommy takes a break. Mommy takes a break. There's a, there's a tradition that mommy sit on the couch, don't do anything. They don't do laundry. They don't clean the house. It's our job when the Hanukkah candles are lit. So remember that. We have a minhag, of course, to play with the sebibon. 
a very, very fun game. We play with, some people play with money, some people play with chocolate coins, all great. To remember how when the Antiochus soldiers came into the, the classrooms and they said, are you learning Torah? And we said, no, we're just playing with the Sebivon. We have a tradition. There's a mitzvah to eat foods that are fried in oil because the a miracle happened with oil, the oil that lasted instead of one night for eight nights. So we eat, of course, Rabbi Moshe's favorite suf ganyot. And some people eat potato latkes and some people eat atayef. And some people eat dairy food, the dairy food, like calzones and string cheese and borekas. Every day on Hanukkah, we're going to take out the Torah and we're going to read the special parasha about how when the Mishkan, we're going to talk about the Mishkan later this year, when it was, when it was open, how, how the president of each Shevet brought a special korban, a present to Hashem. And my favorite, of course, is to sing our special Hanukkah songs. You ready? Let's go. Maoz Tzur Yeshuati Lechana Ele Shabayah Tikon Betefilati Vesham Toda Nezabayah Le'etachin matbeah Mitzaram nabeyah Azegmor beshir mizmor Hanukkah mizbeyah Azegmor beshir mizmor Hanukkah mizbeyah